Well, hello, hello, hello. Starting over again here with the stream to see if we can fix our static issues. I will wait by the cross of Mikola. And we'll see if it's uh, fixed itself. Thank you so much again for letting me know. And I'm sorry that it has been buzzing at you. That is the one downside to this new and mm, improved, question mark? This new and improved audio setup is I cannot hear myself in any way to know if it's been uh, ruined by audio issues, which is foolish. I should have a way. We'll work on it. But let me know if it's still buzzing. It seems to be related to my audio rather than the game audio. So I'm just going to sit here and, and talk and talk and make l loud, weird, swallowing noises until uh, something happens. And then we'll see. I'm <laughs> so grateful for your time and your help. risk a quick peek around. From here, we are headed northwards, following the road. Should be relatively safe, I hope, to follow the road. That, that checks out, right? I urge you, follow after Mikula. As long as you abide by his footfalls, you will be no enemy to me. I thought maybe this guy, in particular, with his gorgeous, muscular calves, would like to know about the fourth cross of Mikola that I discovered. But apparently he cares not. And therefore, good day. Good day to you and your muscular calves. That's not the button for the map. That's an entirely different thing. Alright, so I'm following it up this way. I want to see what this township contains and check out the lake. It also feels like there might be might be a waterfall situation here, which makes me curious. Let's see what we can find. Do let me know if it's still buzzing. And maybe I have just overworked my audio hookups for the day. And we'll have to give it a rest until tomorrow. But thank you for being patient with me, either way. Whether you're being deafened or not, I appreciate you. Continue to the market. Don't mind me. I'll step aside. Enjoy your day. Alright, that looks like the town we're after. I have some doggies here. Shame about the doggies being so capable of catching me that they must die. Or watch me dance in front of them powerlessly, at the very least. <laughs> that did not go well. Try it again from the top. I got my entire ass eaten. Usually I have to pay for that sort of thing. A privilege. A little bit strange that the seeming continuation of the main road is behind a wall and a giant tree. Like, how is this a main road and then it ends in a tree wall? Curious, that. Joy Market, once again, just passing through. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Love to your mothers and such. Love to your father. There's no honor. There's no honor being reclaimed there. What's done is done. Let's move on. <laughs> Alright, there is the ruin I'm looking for. Hot on my heels. Oh, goodness me.
Couldn't we just... Just shaking it? Just shaking it to taunt me? That's effective. Okay, so this seems to be the lake I'm looking for. I'm not seeing a waterfall on the far end, but it might still be a cave or something. We have graves near the cliff edge. I should take a peek off of it as well. But that town is what interests me most, I would say. Let's head this away. Curious about the back side of that cliff. If there might perhaps be a cave or something. A sight of grace. I will happily take it. that sounding any better audio-wise? I'm so sorry to put you to trouble. But before I start making crass jokes in the village, I have to make sure. Seems to be a glowing uh, fetal position. You okay? You okay, buddy? Oh, how it hurts. From very tip to toe. Uh, mm. Help me. I must ask, am I human still? Is that the reason I yet suffer so? Mm-hmm. No, that's the reason. That is the reason. You absolutely thought that the static was me, and you didn't know that it was me until someone said something. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's causing that, but it must be on my end, if other folks are hearing it. No, it was me! I am Spartacus! I caused the static! All right, we got Mothman. A village of Mothman. <laughs> Fly mold? Gross. Walking into this house very confidently, I could be ab abandoned or ambushed from above at any time. I'm going to be abandoned. You should be used to it. You live with Staticus Jackson. <laughs> I like that. I think that would be a good, like, supervillain name. If he ever develops lightning powers, I want to be in charge of your branding. Staticus Jackson! I do wonder if there's going to be a larger... a larger uh, beastie. If that's the reason why they're allowing me... my summon pool. It is pretty toasty around here. F summer in full swing. If I could summon a pool, that'd be great. All right, somebody hanging off the decks up there. Is this some sort of ancient cable car station? Be a really good spot for it, if not. Swing through here. This might be another revered ash. Oh, buzzing. Ugh. That brings instantly to mind those parts in uh, Limbo where you have to, like, grab on to a bug's legs as the little child and ride up the cliff. Just the buzzing. Uh, 
for the spirit ash. So I can boost my summons quite a bit. I think I have two of those, maybe. But I don't have any more skidoo tree. I'm still, still groping for a fancier way of saying that that doesn't make me sound like I'm actively scatting. That'd be great. If there's one thing I, I want to not sound like I'm doing in my life, it's actively scatting. Mm, I do want to peek below the bridge over there. That looks like a tasty little, little hideaway. That's where I would build my summer home, had I the option slash funds slash credit rating for such a thing. I'm pretty sure it's against the terms of service to scat on stream. You know, you're right. I... skibbity boop bop you're right! Oh no! No, don't cancel it! I can... I can explain! Alright, just gotta check the cable car station, then we'll head back and look at my summer home. See what we can see. That is not... A Mothman, but it just looks like a sorcerer's shadow, perhaps. I got very scared for a second. I was like, what? What manner of black knife assassin be this? You're eating me with flies. Stop it. Eating me. Full stop. No flies involved. Hide behind this big tree. He found you instantly. Behind the big tree. So many flies. So many flies and blood loss. <laughs> this is turned into a nightmare. Stop generating flies at me. <sighs> what a nightmare that spell is. There's so many corpses beneath my feet. Ah. Oh no. And seemingly nothing within the cable car station. Well, that's... that's sad. Guess I'll just leave, then. I'll just go home. Scandalous. Ailment talisman. Tell me more. Should have gone the other way. Mm, this is resistance to the last ailment suffered. That's kind of nice. Whatever you're currently afflicted with. When certain ailments are triggered, this talisman grants resistance to it. When the weak were infected with the dreaded fly sickness, Jeff Goldblum being the primary spokesman of that, they perished well before the metamorphosis could take hold. Oddly, those who cared for the infected and made certain they were given a proper burial were never afflicted themselves. Hmm. So the weak were infected, but those who cared for them were not afflicted. So it was not contagious. Was it therefore intentional? Jeff Goldblum, you have some explaining to do. Were you macking on the weak? And spreading it through your delicious saliva? Is that what was happening? Jeff? Alright, let's go check under that bridge. I'm excited. I guess I should, I should peek on this far side of the cliff, too, to make sure there's no further path. But it doesn't feel like there is. And what's really important in the game is how it feels. Not actually checking with your eyes or anything. It does look like a very interesting winding path of gravestones going up the, up the cliff. But like, right there in the middle, I'm pointing. You can't see where, but I'm pointing right there in the middle. It looks like a completely impossible jump up. So maybe it's a downward, uh, downward only path, if anything. But once you get down there, certainly there's a sight of grace. And whatever that crab is. It's probably a crab. 
Super excited. All right, to the bridge. Ah, it is still... It is still staticing. This man may be too powerful for any given audio setup. Therefore, I assume it's destroying your ears. And I don't think whispering helps, but here I am. I'm so sorry about that. I'm not quite sure how to fix it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me try something real quick. All whisper stream. <laughs> I like it. Um, I'll be right back with you momentarily. Hello, hello, hello. As I jangle the desk with my oversized wizard sleeves, I tried just uh, yanking the microphone, like, adapter thing, whatever it's called, and plugging it back in. I'm not sure if that will make any difference, but hopefully it will have reset the audio connection at the closest to source possible. But I do apologize if it is irreparably staticky. One day, one distant day, I will have to figure out how to actually do things so that this will stop happening. Have you tried kicking it vigorously? <laughs> I'm assuming it's still, still staticky? And therefore, maybe I've just overworked my setup. At least we're sitting here in a beautiful environment. Sounding good so far. Okay. I will proceed. It sounds fine, but just kicking things is therapeutic. No, that does sound great. <laughs> that is very good to know, too, uh, that I can completely unplug my audio setup and replug it, and it still works, and I don't have to stop the stream. That is a good test. So if perhaps it is staticky again in the future, I may be able to fix it. I do apologize that I can't seem to catch on to it when it happens. But thank you very much for letting me know from that side. It means the world to me. As I do not want to continue down a gravelly path of static. If it can be helped. Thank you for your patience. All right, we're almost to this shack, surrounded by the cutest little sheeps. What have we here? It does feel as though we have not been invaded by an, a red NPC so far. Shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that out loud. Two furnace visages and a greater potentate's cookbook. Don't know why that's still making me hungry. We've already made all the potato ponds earlier. I won't go down that road again, but it is making me hungry to even consider potentate. 
Which it probably shouldn't. Huh. I like this rock. This is a nice flat rock. I wanna... I wanna just... Just sit here and rest. Rest for all time. Ah, oh, that's good. That is the perfect incline against my tired little bottom. Ooh. <sighs> Lovely. All right, get up. We got things to do. Ha-ha! <laughs> Sneaking towards the eagles. I'm sneagling. I swear one of these days checking off the side of every cliff is gonna is gonna pay off. E eagles? Are you okay? Which one of you died? Oh god. Okay, so we've seen the town, we've seen under the bridge here. What a gorgeous spot. Let's check the lake itself. As our next port of call. <laughs> At least Peter's in-game ass is comfy. My real-world ass is still stuck on some... 30-year-old kitchen chair. But that's fine. It's fine. Alright, that that could certainly be a sleeping dragon. With a sort of tattered, raven-esque set of wings. Usually there's a real good item sitting in front of a dragon. And sometimes you can grab it and then run away. Like the key to Raya Lucaria. Without having to, without having to fight the dragon. Because I'm bad at that. And fighting all things that fly. Also appears like there's probably a stake of Marika involved somewhere around here, so let's be bold. Let's be bold and try it. Hey, cutie. I see your item there. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Mm, ooh, a great katana. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your sleeps. I'll see you next time. All right, so the lake is home to a fine dragon. A sensuous beastie. Somebody cough right in my ear? Why? Why did you do that? I didn't know I was gonna have to cover my ears when I go out in public, but now I clearly do. I was already covering everything else. Abandoned ailing village. Mm, I think they've gone a little bit past ailing, if I'm being honest with you. Another greater potentate's cookbook. We are swimming in recipes. I hope it's just a continuation of different seasonings for that crawfish boil. All right, so we can probably make it down there if we got to the other side. We are, however, nowhere near the other side. I was kind of hoping, since there didn't seem to be any way from up top at the castle or shrouded castle beyond, I was hoping that there might be a path across to the green zone from here, but that is also looking like a no-no. We might have to go much further down and then work our way up to it. Or perhaps beyond the second castle that we still have to conquer, there is a bridge or something. Because this is kind of where I was hoping, like, oh yeah, that looks like it might lead up, but that is a 300 foot tall waterfall <laughs> and will not help us. So it kind of seems like we have to get beyond this area, perhaps, to get to that new map. Which is really what I'd like. I see another one has crept into frame, too. Interesting. So yeah, probably across the main bridge from here we could get a little bit further. We'll try that next. 
Let's just skirt the edges here for any goodies to grab. I do cover my ears in public. Who wants to have to hear people? Oh. <laughs> people in public. It's probably wise to get the full noise-canceling headphones. Excuse me. Just gotta grab the mushrooms that you were actively eating to live and run away. Even though I don't seem to have a hunger mechanic and therefore will be fine. While you perish. I'm a monster. Alright. Grabbed some goodies. Some of these birds are real. Some of them are statues. Grave bird armor, nice. Thank you. Now I just have to break aggro and see if I can get back to a site of grace. Though this is fascinating. I wonder... Are they feeding prisoners to the, the dragon? Or were the prisoners that they dropped here the uh, occupants of the alien village beyond? Did they imprison those who were sick and just leave them? And the ones who made it past the dragon created the village? Hard to tell. Some 200 years later. But there is, what appears to be, a sneaky cave. Perhaps where the prisoners came from. Hmm, I'm scared. Let's check it out. Boop. Hip lantern. My hood is covered in the blood of the unworthy. It's mostly, it's mostly my blood. That's what I mean to say. Some sort of very, <laughs> very shaky sound. I can't tell if it's my door or something beyond. It's not the typical shaky sound. It sounds like a rattlesnake is in here with me. And that's a little bit upsetting. The Bellarat Jail. So this was Bellarat, right? The city above. So underneath it... Folks who were exiled from this city were pooped out into dragon territory. It feels like this is going to be a... a place of importance and also quite massive. Like the legacy dungeon within the legacy dungeon. Be careful for that. Folks flying out to push me off the cliff. Alexander! Oh, I've missed you! That's probably a little racist. I'm sorry, Alexander. Who's it? Oh, it's you. Hi. Hi. I'll go ahead and take your... What were you doing to the... Fr you know what? Never mind. Never mind. I don't want to know. You're just weeping onto your frozen maggots. I hope that it wasn't the other way around. Mm. Down we go. So we live here now. I'm gonna have to find a new way out. And it's in a cage. Feed me to the dragon. And therefore release me to the lake. It is gorgeous in here. I love the color scheme. I seem to find a lot of those. Both gold and silver horn tenders. What, what are they? 
Is this a currency of the land? Consumable boosts item discovery and can be sold for a high price. These trinkets were once symbolic of society's upper echelons. Boosts the amount of runes obtained from defeating enemies for a certain duration, once bestowed upon inquisitors as an honor. Hmm. A long way down. A long way down if you're trying to slipperily climb your way to freedom. Big cannonballs, or are they like head head clamps for an even tighter sense of isolation and imprisonment? I thought there was a guy we fought at some point in this game that had like a metallic ball, a man in the iron mask situation. And I don't know if that's what those are. Looks like I could probably jump out the window. So much weeping. It's gonna be okay. What are you even- where are you- where's your source of gravity? I- are you leaning? The old lean and cry? Excuse me, I'm just gonna yoink. Take those away from you. There's a good lad. What? You saw me yoink, didn't you? you felt like I had to pay for my sins. You with your weird sense of gravity. Alright, out the window we go. Whoop. I don't like this. I'm I'm already trapped down here. This is gonna trap me even further down. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all their maggoty tears, but I'm collecting them. And I will not stop. Seems to be where they gathered the prisoners together for bookmaking? Bookmaking class? It's kind of them to give the prisoners a hobby. Perhaps a future career upon parole? Talk. With who? There you are. I thought you were just a bit of... Sheen from the ice. Oh, please, not the jar. Anything but that. I promise I won't ever do it again. What did you... What did you do? I swear, a living saint I'll surely be. Please, you must forgive me. Forgive me, please! Nope, it's straight to the jar for you. Uh, are they... Are they putting... Putting folks in jars and then... Is this where Alexander escaped from? And he was once a human prisoner. Before he became a jar. That deepens the lore significantly. It was a little overzealous on your wish to peek over the edge there. Maybe maybe back it up. Real real careful like. We'll just back it up. Ooh. This is very close. Alright, kind of feels like I could jar my way down, if if I absolutely had to. But it is a long way. Like, you could doop 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 to there, but then where would you go from there? Or you could, ah, doop 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 a little closer. Neither of those seem like great options, but surely possible. We fell down here accidentally and missed the crampons required beyond this point signage. Graham Kasner would be most upset. I'm 
upset at our lack of preparation. Every time I pass through one of these, I expect it to slam shut behind me and start some sort of unwinnable battle. Yep, yeah, here we go. It's just an entire heart. That guy's got such a big heart. What did I just kill? Is that like the contents of a jar? When you pop the lid off, that's what they look like inside. Yikes. That is one hell of a punishment. I don't think any prisoner deserves to have such a big heart. Okay. Um... I'm horrified. I'm horrified by this news. I guess we have to go down in order to continue. And that really does seem like a long-ass way. Like a fatal way. So the only thing I'm seeing is probably this path. And I do see one more beyond that I didn't prior. But then it's... Mm, it's gonna be real dicey no matter how we slice it here. It's gonna be real slicey, no matter how we dice it. Nothing for it but to try. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> was real close. I hit the chain and slid way off to the right. Okay, the chain is not incorporeal. Try to remember this as we go forward. The chain is a physical object that will make you have a real bad day. Alright. There is a chest there. No idea how I'd end up. I could have probably gone off that other side and maybe survived. It's still a long drop, but... Not sure how else I would get to that chest, so it must be possible. I guess we're going down here. Which seems like about as as big of a drop. Oh, a little baby jar. I hope it's friendly. I don't want to have to attack little baby jar. This brings a whole new... Uh, I can't think of the word. Like, level of interest to the jar village as well. Not just Alexander, but the entire village of jar folks. Perhaps they all escaped from here or someplace similar. Hi. We're good, right? I love you and your your big sleeping mother. I love all you guys. There's no sense in bringing this to violence. I just feel sorry for you and I want to give you a big hug and get out of here with all of my limbs intact. Here comes daddy. Let's see if daddy has any ranged abilities. It's a weird sentence. Daddy's gone aggro. Whoa, what in the hell, Daddy? Daddy sprayed his viscera in every direction. Two dads. Mm hmm. Hurt me real deep with your viscera. Okay. Peace be with you. Huh. Big jar. <laughs> That's very close to the cliff edge. Not sure if you noticed. Maybe trying to murder me. Shocking how something that big and squashy can sneak up on you, but it sure did. It snucked right up on me. That makes me wonder. There's like big... Big slimy things that drop from the ceiling and crawl around and... I'm trying to think if they're, they're in this game or only in like Dark Souls. But it makes me wonder if there's a certain age 
The ones that have left their jars can reach where they turn into a different enemy type we've seen before. A slithery squashman. Alright, classic opportunity for a bridge ambush. You're still in your jar, but you're upside down. Your legs are supposed to go in the bottom, you silly. It's probably pretty well protected, though. And what if he can toss his entire jar at me? Try it. I'll oh, try it. You're about to do the... Yep, I felt it coming in your vibrations. I had a glass of water on the dashboard, a la Jurassic Park. And I knew exactly what was about to happen. I saw that lit brazier back there and thought, ah, it's an enemy. But no, they were behind me the entire time. What did he just push out at me? What was that? I'm really genuinely surprised I'm alive. After that. All right. Just gotta get a quick slash in on you. Hold still. Thank you. Gross. Going for it again. Okay. Running a little, little low on potions. Innard meat. Anyone hungry? Anyone hungry for innard meat? I gotta see what they say about this. What's the description for innard meat? Rancorous spirits cling to the pinkish-red, twitching meat. Throw at enemies to inflict damage. Is it psychological? This is what becomes of the condemned, who get sliced up and stuffed into jars to become saints instead. Is it, so it's not all... it's not all one person? That's somehow much worse. If it's like a bunch of people blended and stuffed into a jar. I feel I feel like if you just had to blend me and put me in a jar by myself, I'd be a lot happier about it. Ow. My head and the rest of me. I don't get to worship at the feet of the big jar. That's all that I desired from my life. But fine. Oh god, please keep your chunks on the inside. <laughs> Sausage filling. Mmm. I am looking forward to my next hot dog. After this new info we've learned. <laughs> Goodness. Alright. Uh, if you, if you, you just want to throw like a statue of America or a... Side of Grace, down at me. That'd be great. I'd be super keen for that. Ow, I tripped. Gooshing. The telltale signs of goosh. Mm, I didn't like that. You keep that innard meat to yourself. I can't tell if that one was exactly the same size as the others we fought, or if it was perhaps a bit bigger, slash healthier. It's probably exactly the same size. Man, you could get, you could get ambushed from so many different angles in here. Get ammed from so many different types of bush. Wh whose leg was that? Please die. Alright. Moving forward.
Seems like I could climb up that way. Let's try for it. This might be a one-way ticket. I thought it might lead directly to the edge of that jar and therefore a what appears to be purple item. But I don't want a one-way ticket for no reason. <sighs> you there. Aww. <laughs> sort of sad. Sort of sad and pitiful. Okay, uh, obviously we need to get back there. There's stuff, so we'll just stop stop beating around the bush and we'll get back there to the stuff. And therefore there must be a way back out, perhaps onto the top of the jars and down. But first, purple item. How do I get it, Lee? Never gonna happen. All right. Here we go. Now we're talking. Hmm. really want any more frozen maggots. Maybe there's something behind those crates. Let's see if we can peek off this side. Well, I can't really tell. This does seem like it would get me back to where we dropped off. Like that is the way out, sure. Okay, so that will get us back to the main door. But can it get us over here? Hmm. Seemingly no passage. No passage across. And same story here. Unless I could get torrent, there's no no way I'm making that. Hmm. <laughs> At least I don't think so. But I'm also not seeing any other way you could possibly jump from. Let's give it one more try. Let's put some ass into it. <laughs> it's just a bit too far. It's real close, though. See what's around this side. <laughs> that made me jump, goodness. I don't know why I was not expecting it from that angle. From the ground. I had prepared my body for side to side attacks. Another cookbook, great. Up we go. Yeah, we can probably make that with a little little help from the height difference. No reason to climb up there. Not seeing any items on the top, top level. So we should be okay. Whoop! Hefty cracked pot. I think we found one other one of those already, so it's not as not as exciting as I had built it up to be in my mind. But that's okay. So we know you can get back over there. What is this other leap over the pots here? Seemingly back to the same general area. So I don't think there's any real reason to go there. Let's head back for the door. Now I gotta be wary. Gotta be wary of every time that there's a sealed wax disc next to me, as it could burst. 
Mm, into the corpse pile. It's lovely. This is where I'm going to build my second summer home. <laughs> All right, down we go. Actually, let me check back here. Yeah. And then down we go. We gotta be getting close to some sort of checkpoint. We're very far into the jail now. Oh, little baby's flying. Be free, be free, my loves. Okay, I don't I don't want to hurt any any jar folk down here. I can see you. I can see a couple of you sleeping. I don't want to hurt anybody. Can I just grab this stuff and we'll just leave without hurting one another's feelings? Hmm? Got stuck on a cage. That was close to my took. This doesn't seem like a great idea, but I'm going for it. Mm, please don't follow me. That was a thud <laughs> of following me. Yep. Get off the edge. Get off the... Oh, no. I should have just retreated. I should have tried to press it. Real good up close picture of one of their faces. That's fun. Okay, uh, so as I was just saying, we're very, very far from a checkpoint, and there must have been one quite close by. But we'll see how quickly we can catch up to our own selves. I apologize for the delay. Mm, you better. Better continue not harming me from these falls, even when they're not scripted. Uh, I forget if we went this way. We must have. Excuse me. Cross the icy bridge. Don't mess with anyone's jar, babies. I don't need to check any side paths unless they're seemingly brand new. was another big fall. And I'm forgetting where it was. Oh, this gives me another opportunity to get that chest, at least. Okay, I'm gonna have to pay close attention when I get near the bottom. I think it was like two or three away. Probably two away from the very bottom. Hmm, very bottom. Alright. Carefully. Gently. So be on the lookout. Is this is this the one? It seems like a hell of a fall, but here we go. Whew. That was close, close to the edge. You got me with your thingy. Oh, I don't like it. Didn't do a lot of damage though. Thank you for that. Oh, I love you. Please, don't don't make me do this. Don't make me do this in front of your father. Oh, no. All right. No, no, we're, we're good. We're good. No need to fight. I love you, little babies. You stay strong in the face of orphanage and adversity. Orphanhood? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't follow me. You guys are very fragile. Don't. Don't you do it. Daddy loves you. Alright, let's go out here. Miyazaki, you sick genius. I love this place. Alright, here was the other scripted fall. really has a lot of push behind it. Gotta be careful of that guy. Ouch. Could have 
easily taken me off the cliff if he really wanted to. But he was sweet. He was sweet to me. Maybe sweet on me. I don't know. Alright, oh, there is something up there. Another purple item. Maybe we should take that second... second path over the jars and see if it winds up that way. I probably made a bad assumption that it would lead out here somewhere, but I'm not seeing the exit point, so it must be behind another row of jars. Let's take a quick peek out there. Wait for Flesh Boy to reveal himself. Where are you, Flesh Boy? There you are. Thank you for revealing yourself. Very sensual. Alright, and then somebody bursts out of a jar. No real memory of where. But I'm sure it'll make me jump again when it happens. Again when it happens. I really hoped I could get that last hit off. But I gotta stop. Gotta stop assuming I can do that. And just take a minute longer, or a few seconds longer, to kill them. Nope. Not today. Not with your little pincer clamp. Alright. Okay. Okay, alright. Ooh, we're living. We are living the life. Just, there's got to be a way up onto the top of these jars somewhere. I wish that that little ladder was usable. That'd be great. All right, which which one of you's real? Who's gonna burst? Is it you? Is it you behind the purple? I don't know why I would need so many of those. It's nice of them to, to give them to me, but... Could I also have some weapons and stuff? <laughs> Nothing here but us pots. Nothing to see. I'm suspicious. Flash boy, no! Flash boy number two, number three, and number four, no! <laughs> There's no end of Flash boy. That sounds weird. It sounds like I'm some sort of... I don't know, what, carnival barker for like a flesh... Flesh palace? There's no end of Flash boy! I don't like it. I don't like the way that I sound. All right, we're headed for the door. We're almost back to my runes. I just have to not die. And I guess for that to happen, I should probably take out some other pots, but I don't want to do that. No, I will not. It's, it's these guys that are the problem. Great if there was just a little more stagger knockback to these. I keep hoping I can push things like that off of cliffs and be done with them. But with these slender blades, it's a bit of a tall order. Alright, there's at least two more, probably three, who are going to attack me. Should I take them out first so that I do not get chased? That would be the smart thing. If you want to, hey, you can't miss me, and then I'll, I walk into it, and you get it anyway. That's not how this works. Ouch! Shivering, mm, shivering with tentacles. All right, one down. Get on out of here. Overzealous flask. Looks like one of them fell off the cliff. Or maybe is right behind me now. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Now we can safely make our way down. After we fully check this area for goods. And or services. Hmm. There's a distinct lack of me being serviced, so I'll continue on. Whoop! You're up to two summer homes now. You're headed for an anatomy of a fall at this rate. <laughs> it's true. Oh my runes! I almost jumped. I was I was this close to jumping, and my runes would have never been seen again. Not that it really matters. Whew. All right. Steak of Marika. Good news? Is that... Is that good news for everybody? Or is it really, really... Really bad news? What do we got? Demi Human Swordmaster Omzi. Oh, it's just a little guy. I take it back! Little guy who's about to wipe the floor with me. Mm-hmm. You've got magic on your side, my friend. You've got the power of frost. You've got both of us with that. Hot stuff. Savages, boys! Don't let him get his magic attacks off. Seems a little unfair. <laughs> Pick on someone your own size. Demi human swordsman Yosh. Yosh. Alright, hooray hurrah. We beat a small man to death. And apparently that, that gets me out. I was expecting a more a more physical escape, I guess, but I'll take the teleport out, sure. That's great. All right. I don't know why I feel like there should be. Like one more little room? One more little room with something? Hell, Yosh! <laughs> uh, it's gonna be my victory cry from now on. Okay, I'll just take- I'll just take the escape. Thanks. Thank you. It's very sweet. Yeah, a nice little coat closet room. A little coat as a reward. Is that too much to ask? Okay, I was planning on doing another two hours. We did a, a 59 minute and a one hour three minute. I should probably find a place to save my buns and run off. But this has been such a fun day of largely ignoring my responsibilities and adventuring in the Shadowlands, I have had an absolute blast with you all. Thank you for hanging out with me. So, next session. We probably want to fast travel here and move south eastish. In fact, I, I think we'll go along the river first, along the cliff edge. See what, uh, what two groups are fighting down here and see if there is a sight of grace by the ruins or the entrance to whatever that is, and then we'll return and take the higher path. Again, ignoring this completely. Don't even look at it. Don't mention it. And then after we've uh, fully explored the southern reaches, though there must be a less saucy way of saying that, we'll go up here and see if we can get to this next map. Obelisk. These are my plans. I will send myself here to the castle front to remind us where we're headed next time. Thank you for your time. Thank you for guiding me on my audio setup. I hope it stayed somewhat smooth. My apologies for the staticky nonsense. And thank you for the 25 runes. Whoever died. I love you guys. 
I will see you again soonish. Tomorrow, at the very least, we'll find another time or two to leap back into the adventure. I do have a new set of armor we should check out. I might want to switch into something DLC-based, though it probably doesn't make that big of a difference. But on the off chance that it keeps me alive... I'm never giving up this hood, though. You can't make me. Uh, thank you again. We'll see you real soon. It was you. You died. You had 25 runes? Aw, you're just a little guy. <laughs> see you guys soonish. Bye for now.